We are given that line BC is tangent to the circle. Diameter EF is parallel to BC. We connect line CE intersecting the circle at point D with DC equal to DE. Our goal is to find the measure of angle BCE. Can you solve it? All right, let's work through this together. We know that since EF is the diameter, the angle subtended by the diameter in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. For example, if AB were a diameter and P any point on the circle, angle APB would be 90 degrees. Therefore, when we connect FD, angle FDE must be 90 degrees. Now, because DC equals DE and FD is perpendicular to CE, FD acts as the perpendicular bisector of segment CE by perpendicular bisector property. Any point on this bisector is equally distant from C and E. For instance, if M were the midpoint of segment XY and we drew a perpendicular line through M, every point on that line would be equally far from X and Y. Since F lies on the bisector, FC must equal FE. But FE is the diameter with length D, so FC also equals D. Next. We examine angles because EF is parallel to BC. Angle BCE equals angle CEF as alternate interior angles. Also in triangle CEF. Since FC equals FE, both length D. The triangle is isosceles with angle CEF equal to angle FCE. Therefore, angle BCE equals angle FCE we still need to use the tangent condition. Let us drop a perpendicular from F to line BC, calling the foot point N. Since BC is tangent to the circle and EF is parallel to BC, the distance between these parallel lines equals the radius, which is D over two. Thus, FN equals D over two. In the right triangle formed at C, the sine of angle BCF equals the opposite side, Fn divided by the hypotenuse, Fc. This gives sine of angle BCF equals D over two divided by D, which simplifies to one half. Therefore, angle BCF measures 30 degrees. Finally, notice angle BCF consists of angle BCE and angle FCE. Since angle BCE equals angle FCE, we have angle BCF equals two times angle BCE. So 30 degrees equals two times angle BCE, meaning angle BCE must be 15 degrees.